Um, I'm Jelmer Vogel. I'm uh, responsible for the big data platform in the Netherlands together with a team of six people, but I'll introduce them later on. This is an actual picture of the big data cluster just after we moved it. Um, it then counted 30 machines, but uh, later on more about that. So actually we do three things within the big data team. First of all, we deliver a self-service platform. So everybody can actually get a login and use the data that's available on our platform to play with. Um, and I would encourage all developers to do that as well, basically because it allows you to see what data is available and what you can do with data. Second thing, we import all big data at Sonoma. Um, and big data, well, then we're talking about a couple of gigabytes a day. That's, that's what we call uh, big, but also some smaller data, something like 200 megabytes a day. We also import that. So all big data at Sonoma, preferably daily. And the third thing we do is we build common infrastructure. So the power plug you see on the left, that's basically what we're trying to achieve. So what we build is, for instance, uh, um, uh, top list APIs that allows you to um, show the last 10 minutes, what has been read the last 10 minutes, or recommendation API together with the data science team. So at the end, what we actually want to achieve is actually we want to see the world from a user perspective. So we would like to create a picture that is the same for the users. So the users who use our pages, they see one page with content and ads, um, but we all get that different data, like uh, small pieces, and we try to glue all those pieces together and create that user perspective. Now, how we're doing it, we're using 42 nodes. Of course, that's not a coincidence, but 42 nodes currently, it's actually not a coincidence because one is broken, but we use 42 nodes currently. Um, and um, it's, on average, we use, uh, or we have available 465 terabytes <laughs> of data. So uh, an average machine now has between 8 and 16 terabytes of, uh, of uh, storage capacity. I'm saying capacity because there's this uh, uh, interesting thing. Basically, um, of course, you don't use all the data because that would basically allow you to have no room for uh, testing and stuff. So actually, currently, we use 245 terabytes of data. But that's gross. So it's basically, it's not the netto storage. Because uh, what Hadoop does is it actually makes three copies. Hadoop is the technology behind it. It actually makes three copies of all the data and stores it on different nodes, which allows you to basically <coughs> work with the data in a very fast fashion because the data is local. But also, if you lose one machine, no worries. You still have two machines available. So in reality, it's actually 80 terabytes of data, uh, which is then replicated three times throughout the cluster. Um, Daily growth, about 93 gigabytes. That was actually when I made this presentation, which is uh, about a month ago. Currently, we're doing a little over 100 gigabytes of uh, daily data, um, which is quite a lot. It actually uh, comes from two countries, of course, both the Netherlands and Finland. So it's advertising data and statistics. So it runs pretty, uh, pretty fast. Um, so 200 data processors. So basically getting the data in, transforming it, and also pushing it out to the different uh, endpoints. And the 200 data processes, that's something we monitor on a daily basis. That's the team of six actually doing that. Um, 200 data processes, that roughly translate to 40 different data sources. Um, and every data source has actually multiple stages in processing. That's the reason why we have 200 data processes and only 40 sources. Um, of course, you get first get the data data in um, and then actually transform it and then you push it to, uh, to the storage layer. Well, these are some of the sources most important for us here in the Netherlands are, for instance, Dart, <laughs> Improved Digital, uh, Motion, Sanoma Analytics, but also some data from Startpagina, Kieskeurig, Autotrader, um, AdTech in Finland. So it's quite diverse. It's both site data, uh, so logging, log data, but also uh, data from our uh, ad servers. On average, we have about 20 business analysts uh, running directly on our platform. So they are using SQL queries to basically select data from our cluster. Um, and this is actually excluding all the developers that are directly programming on top of Hadoop. Um, those 20 people are running about 600 uh, queries weekly. Um, of course, uh, some are pretty simple, but you also have the more complex with multiple joins. And some people just do select star. So it's that's also within this uh, 600. And then, uh, well, basically there's a, uh, an interesting thing. You can basically see during the day when people do uh, work, 
Of course, uh, some people like Brian get, uh, get to the office at 7 o'clock, um, and also the Finnish guys, and some people actually work uh, late. And there's, uh, there's one guy actually doing stuff in the weekend. Uh, he's now a manager, and he's still doing stuff in the weekend. Um, if you want to see it, there's a dashboard that shows you per user how often people use it. We have about 3,000 uh, 3, daily Hadoop jobs, so every query is divided into separate jobs. Every um, action we program uh, for getting data onto the platform is actually cut up in multiple pieces, so 3,000 jobs running on a daily basis. Then, of course, we also have dashboards. So we provide ClickView, which runs dashboards. So we have 200 dashboards. We didn't actually build them ourselves. The business analysts did. They created the dashboards. And all of the processes also are there to fill the dashboards with information. And we also have a dashboard for the usage of our uh, uh, platform. And then uh, the dashboards are actually more used nowadays. It's 275 monthly dashboard users, but um, yeah, it's, uh, for instance, the Start Pagina guys are really using it for their Start Pagina search, which will be uh, the subject for uh, the talk from Dirk, uh, but uh, also in Finland it's quite heavily used. Well, I was talking about uh, six people. These are all the people currently on staff for Big Data. Ron, Sever, Petri, myself, Brian, and Matthew. By the way, Petri and Matthew are actually in Finland, but they will be here during the hackathon on next Thursday. And, and, it got stuck. And if you want to learn something about Hadoop and how to use it, uh, there's two days, uh, October 13 and October 14. We're going to do a, a, a two-day training session uh, to learn with, to work with uh, Hadoop. Uh, so uh, please uh, uh, email me if you want to uh, join in and uh, learn something on how to use Hadoop to work with big data. That's it.